어떤 구독자분께서 댓글을 남겨주셨는데 um, So they asked a lot of questions on how to apply for medicine and dentistry mm. So I felt like I could help them in terms of the medicine questions but um, I don't know anything about dentistry so, <웃음> 유튜브 치대생 언니를 <웃음> 연락을 해서 <웃음> 어, 같이 찍을 수 있는지 물어봤는데 Just gladly, just glad to cut. Do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah. <웃음> 안녕하세요. 저는 지금 런던에서 지금 취재 다니고 있는 가은이라고 합니다. 네, 저도 유튜브를 하고 있는 중이고요. 완전 대성. 완전 잘라야 되는데 아니 그 그냥 그냥 간간히 일상 올리고 있습니다. 그래서 <웃음> 저도 사실 그 유튜브 하기 전에. <웃음> 언니를 영상을 좀 봤거든요. 아 진짜? <웃음> yes. <웃음> uh, okay. So the subscriber he asked me questions. Basically said, 안녕하세요. 영국 사는 11년 학생인데 임페리얼 의대 또는 캐시 치대를 희망하는 사람이라 궁금한 게 너무 많은데 여기 적어 봅니다. 더 쭈르르 질문을 엄청 많이 질문이 많이 붙어요. 네. <웃음> so 하나씩 하나씩 네. Gonna go through um, them all. And I'm gonna put the, all the translations down. So that's going to take me so long. I was thinking, maybe I shouldn't talk too much. Because <laughs> I know it's a pain. To short talk. and sweet. Yeah. Yeah, let's make a short stamp here. So, the first question is, Do you have to learn English in the UK? Do you have to learn English in the UK? Do you have to learn English in the UK? So, for me, I was born in Korea, but I moved to the UK when I was four months old. So, mm -hmm. like, baby. Baby, baby. Yes. <laughs> so um, I didn't have any problems speaking English because I was just born here. Quite um, I was I was born in Korea as well, but then I moved here in 2008, so that's when oh, I was okay. eight years old. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know any English before that, mm -hmm. so. So do you remember when you came? Yeah, I do. All I can say, say was like yes, no. My name is oh. Scott. I mean, yeah, but then it says, do I have any difficulties using English? I still do. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I, I still mm, do. Yeah, my grammar is not mm, great. <laughs> oh. I guess, yeah, flu I can speak fluent English though, yeah. Second question. Did you go to grammar school in grammar school? Did you go to school in school? Did you go to school in school? Did you go to school in school? Yeah, that's my first choice as well. Oh, really? <laughs> so, um, I moved to sixth form. So before that I was somewhere else. Ah, and then you moved to the before. In terms of um, I don't know. I wouldn't say I was the top, mm -hmm. but because everyone around me was so hard Good, working, yeah. <laughs> that kind of forced me to work hard. And I'm like the type of person who I'm not naturally smart. Mm, no, you mean. But yeah, you're smart. I think that's kind of similar for me. I did go to grammar school since year seven, but I was I never thought of myself as in like I was never the top. Mm -hmm. I was always like meh in the middle. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of glad though because you know when you go to university they're like guys you need to be prepared to not be top and I was like I'm, I'm never the top. It's yeah, fine. Exactly. <laughs> so that's a plus I guess. Yeah. Um, I mean I wasn't kind of used for like getting B and C and six and four. Crying and trying to cry, but I'm fine. <laughs> We're not top students, but we work hard, and that's what we have to do. Do I? Do I? <laughs> These days, no, but back then, <laughs> yes. Okay, so what do you want to say? Uh, 학교와 명문, 명문대인데 주위 동기분들 다 엄청 성실하고 천재이신가요? 어느 대학교 다니시나요? 아, 저는 I go to, I go to Bart's, which is basically Queen Mary, but like for dentistry and medicine. Yeah. Um, are all my friends all like really genius? I mean, they're really smart, but I wouldn't say everyone's like. Yeah. I mean, I think everyone just works yeah. hard and. Yeah, Yeah, because I am aware that both our unis are very well known, mm -hmm. and people are like, oh my gosh, parts, and oh my gosh, imperial, but like I said before, I just have to walk my socks off together. <laughs> it's not like. No, no. My friends, I know, they're really, really smart, mm -hmm. but they have a life. Not oh, like. They're not all nerds, you know what I mean? They're just, they have to, they like play hard, work hard to people, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Which is like the best, best? Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess. Yeah. 
네 번째 질문, GCSE A 라고 무슨 과목 하셨으며 grades 알려주세요. Are you happy to share grades? Uh, yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> so for GCSEs, I did all three sciences. So that's chemistry, biology, physics, maths, English language, English literature, geography, history, PE. And PE. Yeah. And for A levels in year 12, I did all three sciences and maths. Wow. <laughs> because I enjoy physics in GCSE. I bro, no. Like, physics was just like the worst part of GCSE. No, I think it's because I love my teaching. It was so, so good. Yeah, my, my teacher's gone great. But then, year 12, hmm, different story. <laughs> so you need to take physics for AS and then history, I got A star, bio A, and then maths A. Yeah. Bye bye, good luck. So I got great. <laughs> but for me, uh, for GCSE, I got, I don't know, 12 subjects. Mm. But that includes like short, like short RS. Mm -hmm. uh, I did short RS yeah. as well, but people don't really count that as a subject, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> I did 12 subjects, mm -hmm. including additional math as well. For GCSE, I got 6 A stars and 6 A's. And for A levels, I don't know, our school didn't count AS as a thing. I just don't know why they did it because ours didn't count either. Ours didn't count. Yeah. I did psychology as well. I did math, like biochem math. And I got three A's for that. Yeah. And DOV, don't an NCS. I honestly, this question actually made me laugh so much. Did you do it? Bronze and silver, yes. Wow, we actually went up two silver. <laughs> for me, like after bronze hiking, I was like, no, this is not my thing. I mean, like, during the actual. <laughs> I didn't like it. I but thinking back, it's. I'm sure. All the jokes and like the funny moments, the, the moments where you cried a lot, <laughs> and like when it rained and your shoes oh, get like so no. wet. And then, I don't know, I, I'm glad I didn't like now, but back then I was like, oh. yeah, I am. Mean, yeah. yeah. And then NCS, I did do it, but I personally didn't enjoy it. I didn't like either. I don't know, just don't do anything just to put it on your bus seat. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean that's so true. Like do be, it's nice to have it, but it's not necessary to have it. NCS. I mean, um, some people do really enjoy it, but can I just say, I've read this meme how um, NCS is basically like Love Island for year 11, which is so true. So that's the DOP and NCS. Next question, work experience in Onde or Dito or Mona? Work experience, I actually did it three times. <gasps> yeah, but over the like three years, over the yeah, three, over three years. Wow. So I did one in like my dental clinic and I just wanted it for like for a whole week, mm -hmm. not long. And then I went to another dental clinic near my house for another week. Mm -hmm. And then I went to Kingston Hospital yeah. okay. for dental department. Mm -hmm. And I really enjoyed it. Like I think work experience is something that really motivates you to really aspire what you want to be. Mm -hmm. So I really, even if I had moments where I'm like, I really don't want to do this, like I don't want to study. <laughs> but like whenever I went to my work experience, it really motivated me to be like, yeah, this I think this is what I want to, yeah. want to do. So yeah, how about you? How about you? Um, I did one. Oh yeah, one. Experience. But it's, it's difficult to get it. Yeah, this was in year 10, um, and it was in a private hospital in somewhere in Red. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And... Most people go there. Really? So, yeah. It was nice. I mean, it's a private hospital, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I just shadowed like administration people. Yeah, you don't, you don't do nurses that. and pharmacists. Like it was really interesting, and because I was like back in year ten, and I was like, <gasps> oh, so, like. But I didn't really get any hands-on work experience compared to my friends who like um, shadow surgeons. And, oh, really? Mm -hmm. But I did do um, volunteering at the Kingston A and E Oh, so that's nice. But that was just going around and getting people cups of tea. I mean, that's the thing, work experience, you really don't do much but I guess it's just to see what kind of life the doctors and the dentists have and you need to you need to have it for what it to do, definitely because they do talk about it and like what, you have to write what you learnt on the personal statement as well so do, do a lot of it if you can well, even if you just do like one like I did just try and like think what Specific things that you found really enlightening. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's important. Really yeah, don't worry too much. But like Carmen, you said, do you try and get more experience? Yeah, but they're difficult. So do you lot like volunteering as well? Maybe like you did. Yeah, but like I did. I did more volunteering than 
It shows that you're really putting more, like lots of effort into trying to do lots of different things. Next question. 소심한 성격인 성격인데 extracurricular 많이 중요하나 유유. Did you not? Uh, <laughs> I really didn't do much. Think of three what? things that you did. Three? That's, that's too much. <laughs> no, basically, I did mention how I played the flute. Oh, you I think I saw your video where you played flute, but I, no, for me, I did it in year seven, year eight, for like two years. I got distinction for up to grade two. <laughs> Quit. You should continue. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't. I didn't really write down my personal statement, but I did do like a last-minute drumming lessons. I actually wanted to learn the drums. I heard this one. I mentioned that a bit in my interview mm -hmm. and stuff. What about like school stuff? That's the thing. I don't even do much. Don't <laughs> <laughs> No, I think the opposite. In my old school, on top of my because I just did loads of activities. I did. Piano, flute, flute, I enjoy sports, but once I got to the sixth form, mm -hmm. all of that was down the drain. Yeah, because you have to work. Yeah. 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 Sports. Yeah. But I did do a um, med but it was used for interviews. Oh, that's yeah. 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 Um, so I feel like that's why I got a place for Queen Mary's quickly. Mm -hmm. like, they like it. They like it because it shows that like, you don't only work; like you have that life and work balance. Yeah. In you're like outgoing. I feel like because when I first joined university, I was like, oh my gosh, everyone's gonna be so smart. And stuff. But there's a reason why they do interviews. Like I can now see why they do mm. it because they probably can tell between the people who just work, 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 work. Yeah, well, I think for dentistry, extracurricular is really important in terms of like dexterity, like mm -hmm. manual dexterity, because mm -hmm. we are really practical and we work in such a small space. We need to have that hand hand eye coordination. Mm -hmm. And that's why I kind of did the drum thing because it's really important to have that. <laughs> it's like multi, you know what I mean? Yeah, so they see that a lot. So lots of people do like baking, like icing, decorating stuff. I guess like sewing, I mean, it shows that you can work with your hands, which is really important. Yeah, extra great activities are important. I think that's mm -hmm. like our main point. Like mention in personal statement as well. Mm -hmm. Chemistry Olympiaduna UKMT has online. Tell me about this online. I don't think our school did chemistry or did. Maybe I'm just not aware of it. We did, but I think in year 12 I got bronze and then year 13 I'm not doing bronze. No, I mean, it's, it's really really it's, hard. It's, it's most of the time I just sit there like, why am I here? Yeah, I was the boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then maths challenge. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't notice in my old school. Toggies mm -hmm. on them because we were very small. I did get quite a few prizes then, but I just moved to sixth form. <laughs> I did one UKMT in my when I was like year 8 or something and I got like a bronze, yeah and then I did one in year 12 and I got participation <laughs> it's for those who, you know, pitiful people who are like who tried and you know, good effort but no, <laughs> that's me that's so funny <laughs> honestly I didn't do that well but if you, would you say it's quite important? no, unless you want to do maths at uni yeah. Do you, do you use math a lot now? Because for me, I hardly even use timetable and I forgot timetable. <laughs> Funny because like, you go from doing like massive calculus mm. into <laughs> how many teeth are in, in the math, which is like 4 times 8. <laughs> how many in the math? 4 times 8. What's 4 times 8? 32? I say me that, guys. <laughs> I actually need to know that. <laughs> when you're doing head and neck? Yeah, you do. 32! <laughs> That's stuck in my head now. <laughs> Mass challenge, chemistry Olympiad. I don't think it's that important. Not important, yeah. Next question. I don't know if this is during <laughs> sick or before. Sick I think before you death, like I read it. I went to the library like every single day, like you know, that nerdy oh, year rate. Oh, so cute! <laughs> and then that stopped. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, I feel like everyone goes through that phase where right. like, Reading, 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 and then you just don't read anymore. But then in year 12, because I went to the med school, the only day that were like recommending us books to read. Oh, so nice. So, like, do you know, oh, when breath becomes air, uh, that kind of stuff. I'm reading that now. I haven't reached the second part of the book. No, okay, okay. Part, so, I won't say, I won't. No reactions, no spoilers. <laughs> no, it's, it's really good though, it's really good. Yeah. It's a bit difficult for me to read something like dental related books because oh. there aren't many. Oh. Or maybe I just didn't look for it. <laughs> I think 
think that this lasts a long time. But I feel like I did like last minute reading mm. before my interview, <laughs> like articles and mm. oh, what's the newest technology mm. and just read just for the interview. But other than that, I didn't really read. If you are gonna put a book that you read or an article you wrote in your personal statement, make sure you know it because mm. they yeah. could yeah. ask you grill <laughs> you on that book. Don't just put it in there because it's nice and pretty and mm. like it's mm. like oh I read this book. Um, yeah, do you know what it's about? Even if that involves you having to read it like the week before your interviews. Yeah, that's true. But honestly, the professors, they know what they're talking about. Honestly, don't undermine them. Because they could grill you. If you have any questions, you can ask me if you have any questions. You can ask me if you have any questions. You can ask me if you have any questions. Should we do this into two questions? Like I said before, I did piano up to grade 7 and then flute to grade 8 in year 11. And then after that, nothing. So, there's already time. I mean, I forgot everything. How can you say nothing even count when you... It helped me for my VCAS thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have to fill out all those, like, oh, yeah. Yeah, the boxes and I go, like, oh, yeah, this, that, that. Oh, no, it took me, like, two, two minutes. Like, great one, flute, <laughs> two, flute, that, okay. You don't even get VCAS point if it's great on the grade five. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Any other instruments apart from flute, drums? No. no. <laughs> it's nice to do it. No, do it actually, just do it. <laughs> I think it just shows like you have something outside your work. Okay. I enjoy doing it pretty That's nice. Mm. I enjoy it too, I just didn't like the cleaning part. <laughs> what is that? That's like number one why did I why I quit. That's like what, five seconds of the whole five seconds? I was like oh, so much effort. <laughs> okay, so the next bit, the question was um about how do I don't get this question? What does it mean by predict for six? Oh, the GCSE. Has it, ch has it changed? You are the, like, you're the first year, you're the guinea pigs. Oh my god. For that and A levels. Really? You're the guinea pigs the whole oh my god. <laughs> so, six is like a, uh, a high B. High B. Wait, wait, I'm more is it like. Nine to one, so nine is A star, like B star, A star. Eight is A star, seven, A, six, B. Five. So, this is <laughs> Yeah. In my time. A long, long time ago. Ago. <laughs> We just did like. A star to you again. Yeah, so for us, we have minus one for English and maths only because we're the first year. So six is a B, mm -hmm. and it's in French. Mm -hmm. well, that's the predicted grade thing, you know. I think that's pretty good. I was predicted C. Oh, it's fine, yeah, because yes, maybe if it was on a chemist biology or something, and you have to get the A star to get into a certain sixth form, then maybe yeah. Oh yeah, sixth form, yeah. But uh, I mean, try. Still, with the French, if you want to know, improve your grade, don't worry too much about it. Like, don't stress about your French when you could be learning more for biology and chemistry. I, I mean, I didn't change my sixth form, but I didn't really think about my GCC much. Oh, but right. I think university wise, you just have to get at least B for math and English. Unless you're applying for Oxford, but that's another story. I did photography actually. Mm, yeah. That's yeah. oh, great. Ooh, but it's still fun. <laughs> I mean, I know that art takes a lot of time. Oh, yeah. I actually took art for a week. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, I'm not doing this. I'm mm -hmm. not changing history. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I don't think you should worry that much. Just mm -hmm. try your best. I was predicted C for my French because basically for reading, mm -hmm. I got A stop for reading. <laughs> but for listening, I got U. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so <it was> like, <laughs> like, like, literally two extremes became C. So, but like in the end, I got A. Like, don't mind. And if you're really, really worried, like, speak to your friends and like your art teacher or something. Yeah. Just to, yeah. Don't don't bother with it, basically. Yeah. I'm here to go to the next one. Cute. GCSE predict degrees. How do you think? How do you think? It's not. Oh, that. It's not. A. It's good. Don't worry. Well, I don't understand. Wait, so, I'm here to go to the next one. In A. It's A star. So, how is this manga going to the bottom? You're doing fine. Isn't A good? Yeah. You can do this, it's fine. If you're predicting grades 8, then carry on with what you're doing. It's working. Last yeah. year, A level grammar, maths, bio, bio, chem, bio, maths, had it on the day. And their grammar was very difficult. So I had to learn from the top to the bottom. Second to the bottom, I had to drop. That's so weird. Yeah. What do you think? I don't see the point in taking four. Yeah. Same. And Good. in bio maths as well. Bio maths. No. Like I struggle so much with just being true. True. Same. Same. 
as I said before, we don't use math. So I do really recommend doing four subjects because it's better to get three A's than like A star, A, B, B. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It has to be balanced out and taking four subjects and really pushing yourself too much could not actually be good. I don't see, you just, I just don't see the benefit that you That's get true. from being four. Yeah. Unless you really like math and you really want to push yourself mm. and stuff. Like, we're not saying we're not forcing you to do it because <laughs> it is your choice. But our recommendation is take three. Yeah, three. Make life easy for yourself. That's it, yeah. Oh, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if I wanted help. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, so because I know quite a few of you guys also want to think about dentistry as well. So please head over to <laughs> This Omni's channel. Yeah. It's guys, really you... fun. Like, I always like watch it and then I'm just like laughing by myself. <laughs> <laughs> like, I relate so much. Do <laughs> you commute as well, don't you? I commute, yes. I go. Every day. I'm <laughs> gonna like a gig about my My channel isn't as informative as you, yours is, but it's just more like chill. Just like. It's been really informative. I would say so. I mean, I feel quite informative, quite nice. Like, this is all the people being at. I don't really talk about anything. Yeah, that was like the first one. Oh, no. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, in the next yeah. video, guys. Bye! Bye. <laughs>